Egypt Armada is a live band that captures your attention. There's something to be said about the showmanship, and I think you earn fans every time you perform live. And I think that that's something that the Armada is well on the way to. Greg S. Davaletti. Some call me GDP. What does that stand for? I think it stands for Greg Diamond Phillips. <laughs> I don't see the uh, relevance in it. But. <laughs> and what's your role in Dormana? I play guitar. Yeah. I'm Chris. I play lead guitar for Dormana. My name's JC. I play drums for Dormana. Cool. Um, the name of the Queen. My name's Jay, uh, and I'm um, the vocalist for Darmada. <laughs> All the personalities in this band mesh very well. There's a great chemistry between everybody, not just you know musically, but but as friends. And uh, and we all have each other's backs. And on the road, it was uh, it was very natural for us to be out there. Um, and I think every single night that we played. Uh, you know, that camaraderie that we have only made the band stronger and better. Hey, it's Ross Mahoney from 103.1 The Buzz. I am the music director and assistant program director and afternoon DJ of a modern rock alternative station here. And I want to talk to you guys about a band that's uh, recently breaking out of South Florida here. They're called Darmada. They played with uh, a lot of great bands, everything from Mudvayne to Nonpoint and Skindred, and uh, they've been a part of two Buzz Bake Sale lineups now that have uh, boasted the lineups of 30 Seconds to Mars and um, Avenged Sevenfold. And recently they were at a show um, with Nonpoint, and I was just sitting on the side of the stage, back kind of in the backward, backwards area, with uh, Rob from Nonpoint, and he was just blown away by the potential that this band really has. Um, it's a bunch of guys that were musicians in other bands and they kind of, you know, found their way to get together and they're definitely the band in South Florida that, that people talk about the most. Does anybody know who we are? I'm Spano with 93 Rock. Um, I'm the local music director and uh, host of the South Local Soundcheck at 93rock.com as well as an on-air personality. You know, I, I research a lot of bands in South Florida from West Palm Beach um, to Broward County, Dade County. And that whole area, I would say Darmada is, you know, one of the top probably three bands as far as buzz goes. Um, everybody knows who you are. Everybody wants to check out your shows. You guys have a hook in your music that is undeniable. <laughs> A lot of bands latch on to a fad rock, um, you know, whether it be, you know, emo type of rock or maybe, um, you know, a hardcore type of rock. What ba what bands really need to be successful is to be unique. And even if they do choose to pick that genre, they got to be unique in what they're doing. They got to obviously sound good. They got to be tight. Um, their stage presence, you know, there, there's a lot of bands that have you know, three out of the five tools, four out of the five tools, but to, to really be noticed, you gotta have everything kicking. You know, you gotta be banging on all cylinders. And that's why I'm featuring you. Yeah, man, dude, but I'm serious, man. I can't stop listening to your singing. That's awesome, that's awesome man. Man. I really can't. Really cool. Like, at first I listened to it, I'm like, okay, the first two songs were really good. <laughs> Didn't even listen to three and four. Then I listened to the third one, like, this is a fucking good song, too. The fourth one's acoustic. I just kept going one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I uh, listened to the acoustic one. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> My 
is Joe Butera. I'm the chief engineer at the Power Station Recording Studios here in Pompano Beach, Florida. I record lots of different kinds of bands, and um, one of the one of the reasons that uh, we decided to work with Darmada was actually our choice. We decided to, um, you know, we wanted to seek out a local band that was doing really, really well and uh, do a demo for them, and uh, just to see what could happen. And we heard Darmada. We're friends with some of the guys that are in the band, and we're like, you know, let's do it. And uh, we picked three songs, and that's the demo that we have right now. And it sounds amazing. Every single song that we write, I can't help but be amazed at how well the five of us work together. And then when the song is born, it's like, I don't know, there's really no, there's no feeling like that when you know you just wrote a, a kick-ass song, right? <laughs> money into a band that's just starting out all the all of you guys have plenty of experience in the industry and nowadays it doesn't matter how old you are or anything like that it's about the songs that you write you know and when the product is good the people recognize it doesn't matter if they're downloading stuff doesn't matter if it's you know people are stealing the mp3s that's not where the money is made the money's made in merchandising the money's made in touring and real money can be made touring and this band can do that because you know they've got the show they've got the voice they've got songs and uh, that's all it takes. You just got to keep moving forward with that particular model. Right? My favorite part, my favorite part is about being in the band Armada is when we play a live show, like a bigger show, like say we opened up for Nonpoint or Skid Trip, and we walk out on stage and that crowd has no clue who we are and they're like this. And we walk out there knowing that we're gonna, by the end of that show, they're, they're doing this. It's like we go out, the underdog, walk out, a favorite can't wait to do that. That's the best part because every one of us feels the same way. There's nobody that's shy to go out there. I think Darmada is one of those bands that can lean metal, but for the most part they're a mainstream rock band that has a lot of commercial potential and uh, the musicianship is just there. Um, it would not surprise me to see Darmada on the cover of Revolver magazine, to see Darmada on you know Fuse Network and sell, and selling records. You know, these guys put in the hard work. That's what it takes. You know, it's not even about like, not about any one individual's talents or anything like that. You know, you got a voice in the band. All right. You got a rhythm section in the band. All right. And do you have songs? You know, the hard part, these guys have. The easy part, well, everybody has that. That's not the. That's not the issue here. You know, having the the things that are hard to come by, like, you know, songs, a voice, you know, an experience nowadays. I mean, that's, that's what these guys have. It's just like five guys making music, playing shows, having fun, and um, doing what we love, you know? You know, we believe that we have the talent and, and to succeed on, on the highest level in the music industry. I don't think any of us have a doubt about that. And uh, in, the, in this short amount of time that we've been playing, um, I think that the response from not just uh, audiences, but um, radio stations and, and, and people in the industry, um, I, th I think, uh, agree with that, um, more or less, and, and uh, at this point, I, the sky is definitely the limit with this band, I think that we can be as big as, as we allow ourselves to be.